Hello everyone, Perse7 here, back with some more BT6. Now this was um, Blunaries from a couple weeks ago, simply guys, because um, Basalt Columns isn't really a good map for trying to do a super buff tower run, seeing as you know, majority of towers are banned. Also, um, uh, NG is also banned as well, so I can't really do a true super buff challenge. And even if I could, most global range towers, except for Boat, is banned, and I don't really think Carrier Flagship can really beat Blunaries without, you know, the help of Ultra Boost. So I figured... I'll just uh, skip this week, which is unfortunate. I'll have to wait three more weeks for another Blue Nays to go around. But anyways, I did record some footage of last week with Permacharge. So seeing as two buff Permacharge can beat Blue Nays. I did this just in case, you know, um, if I, uh, if, you know, the map was bad. I did see that NK is trying to do a lot harder maps when it comes to um, uh, Blue Nays, which I do appreciate. And uh, with bosses and whatnot. Only issue I have with it is, you know, maybe casual players may not be able to do it because, you know, Spillway was actually pretty difficult and required me to use my brain and I haven't actually beaten Basalt Columns yet, but I will try that out some pretty shortly. Anyways, um, if you remember, Geraldo was banned for this week, so I figured Gwendolyn was probably the best hero for this. Now, for Tier 1, I figured that probably the best way to actually be Tier 1, instead of, you know, relying on Turbo Charge and having to stall for the ability and whatnot, I figured it would probably just be easier just to straight up afford uh, Perma Charge, which can easily shred down the 20k HP. Now, for Cross Pathing, um, I do believe that, you know, 250 is better, but, you know, since I'm focusing more so on single target damage and not necessarily grouped damage, I figured that 0, uh, 052 would be better in this case, although... I'm not really 100% sure. Primer Charge isn't really a tower I use too much. Although, even though I did beat Dark Castle Chimps with it, you know, that was just kind of a, um, uh, it was actually probably the first time, that was actually the first time I actually used Primer Charge in Chimps mode, so I guess that was pretty cool. But anyways, you know, Primer Charge, easily able to actually, um, beat Blunarius, but this shouldn't really surprise anyone, seeing as, you know, it is a tier 5. If it couldn't beat Blunarius, you know, that would be kind of a cause for concern. So for tier 3, I basically just did the same thing, except, you know, it had a lightly um, buff Primer Charge. I did get like an Alchemist and like a Village, but you know, even then, Primer Charge still, I figured we should easily be able to take down 75k HP, seeing how well it took down 20k. So, <laughs> it was just kind of that. Not really much to say here as well. Primer Charge is easily shredding the um, damage of um, Lich, which is actually, I don't know, just kind of impressive. Seeing as I don't think uh, any other tier 5 done so far has actually been able to beat Lich kind of this efficiently and quickly. Which is uh, kind of, like, kind of, I guess, incredible. Seeing as, you know, Permacharge is kind of a, uh, uh, what, Master of All and, like, Jack of nothing. That's not how the saying goes. But anyways, you know, Permacharge doesn't really excel anything. It just kind of does everything, but doesn't have a really excel at anything. Even though I figured that, you know, Middle Path would probably be the Moab damage path, but... Seeing as you know, Bio Boomer does give increased mob damage. Um, Permacharge is still pretty good against ceramics as well as mob class balloons as well. So, having a kind of a tower that does it all, I guess, isn't really a bad thing. But at the same time, it does kind of um, have it not really be used as a master of all kind of tower isn't really too useful. Actually, I won't say it's not useful. It's just not really too interesting to use. So, for the third tier of Blunaris, I just kind of had a, again, just still lightly buffed Primer Charge. I could sell for um, more uh, support, but I figured that, you know, might as well just get as much money as possible so I can afford, like, you know, Temple by Tier 4, which was a bit of my goal. Did farm a lot better than I did when I was doing Sun Avatar, which, uh, you know, I figured I probably would need to, seeing as, you know, Sun Avatar, I do believe, is a bit better than Primer Charge. In terms of just kind of straight up single target damage as you know having three projectiles that both do one damage does have a lot of potential for you know doing insane amounts of damage as you know if you just add perma brew you know you basically what like quinn no like sex tuple the damage of um of you know sun avatar seeing as you know all the beams will now do two damage and so two damage during three you know, doing six damage. So it is pretty insane, you know, which is kind of have multiple projectiles, which Perma Charge doesn't really have. It just has, like, you know, kind of one strong single target projectile. But even then, um, with some light support, you know, Perma Charge is doing surprisingly um, 
well, you know, just kind of having Ultra Boost Perma Brew Homeland is doing a fair amount of damage. Now, it's actually shredding Blinarius a lot faster than I really kind of expected, but, you know, again, this is kind of a uh, master of none kind of situation, so not really that surprising. The only really thing that really concerned me is range. Perma Charge doesn't really have good range, even when you go bottom path. Yes, that's good range now, but, you know, seeing as, you know, that was just help a village, and of course Perma Brew, but you know, kind of base 052 doesn't really have a lot of range. So for tier 4, you know, got Moab, Super Riddle, and Primary Expertise. Probably the one of the few times you're actually going to see Primary Expertise, seeing as you know, Perma Charge does have a pretty good ability, which I do think will be useful for taking down Blue Aries. I fear that, you know, I will allow myself to use Expertise just to have the increased cooldown on um, reduction, which I fear would probably be needed. Now, um, Perma Charge is absolutely just shredding tier 4 Blinaris, which is kind of surprising seeing as we don't even have Temple Profs on it yet, which we now have just gotten now, which, and even then, it should do a lot better now. And, you know, it is just kind of, I guess, impressive seeing, you know, Perma Charge doing all this damage. Absolutely just shredding Blinaris like it's absolutely nothing, so it is pretty cool to see, you know, just kind of Perma Charge actually do this. Seeing this kind of makes you wonder how come every tier 5 can't really do this. A bit of a while ago I did do Ray of Doom, although that was a deleted video. Seeing as, you know, due to an editing mistake, the video didn't, I don't know, I guess, finish rendering properly, so half the video was cut off. But, you know, Ray of Doom before the buff wasn't able to actually do this. Um, even now, I'm not 100% sure, even after the buffs it received, simply just because Ray Doom doesn't really respond as strongly to buffs as well as, you know, Sun Avatar, um, so like Sun Avatar does, you know, like Bez would, Permacharge does, Sun Avatar and all that, so even then after the buff, I still don't think, you know, Ray Doom would be able to do this. Also, Elite Defender, which, you know, does have insane attack speed and, do, do, and does, you know, pretty decent amount of single target damage when you go 205 surprisingly was not able to beat Blunaris of course this was Spice Islands but even then I figured that you know even on Spice Islands I figured that you know Elite Defender would easily be able to beat Blunaris but you know kind of surprisingly it wasn't able to all right so for tier 5 we got all the buffs that I can possibly think of uh, Energizer, Prime Expertise, True Sun God, Perma Brew, and Cool Mob all that good stuff all the buffs I can actually do, I've probably done this so many times that I probably know what all the buffs I can actually realistically get on each tower are at the point. And you know, this isn't really the absolute strongest perma charge could be. If I did have Rualdo, I could go 250 and get the plus one damage and plus one pierce from sharpening stone. Although perma charge is doing such high amounts of damage, I'm not even sure if plus one damage would make too much of a difference, but I figured it would probably help just kind of a little. But, you know, Gwendolyn is giving, you know, plus one damage from the uh, heated up, which, again, probably will help a little. So, I guess there's that. But at max buff, you know, Primer Charge is doing incredibly well. It's not really as fast as Sun Avatar did. I probably would have went over to Elite to see if it actually could be, you know, like, Tier 3 and Tier 4 of Elite Lunaris, just to see if it could do like as well as Tax Zone did, as I do feel like this is probably a good map for Primer Charge to actually do. In the spot I have it here, it pretty much gets full map range and able to attack Lunaris wherever it goes, except for behind the rock, which I'll have to remind you again, maybe is that I can't actually remove the rock, which is a bit disappointing, but it's kind of whatever. And something I forgot to do was kind of move so brittle, just kind of in range of Lunaris so it can actually attack, but thankfully, thanks to the buffs from True Sun God, has such high range that I don't really have to move it too much. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, join Discord, link is down below in the description. Also, when 32.0 comes out, I'll be making a clan called 023 Engineer Fans. Um, I, if 32.0 does come out sometime in the next week, I won't actually be home in the States, I'll be on a trip, so if it does come out, that'd be kind of sad, seeing as I won't be able to make a video on the first day it comes out, but it's kind of whatever. If you want to join the clan, you know, 023 Engineer Fans will be the name.